Hello friends, welcome to SNR Academy. My name is Rohit Prakash and I'm gonna teach you analog electronics. So in the intro lecture I've told you about gate and IES syllabus and about the marking scheme. So if you have not watched the first lecture, intro lecture, then just go and watch the first lecture. So in this lecture we will study about the basics of analog electronics and they will be, then we will go to diodes. So let's begin. So first of all, what is electronics? We are electronics engineers, so we should know what is electronics. So electronics is the study of flow of or control of electrons. And also in this electronics we study about the behavior of electrons in semiconductor devices vacuum tubes etc so guys in electronics we know we have analog electronics or digital electronics So we will be dealing with analog electronics and after this analog electronics we will know digital electronics. So first we will study analog electronics. So now we will see what is analog electronics. So friends all depends on the signals. What is our signal? Analog or digital? So we have signals analog and digital signals so what is analog signal so guys analog signals are those signals which vary continuously over a time means like this this will vary continuously over a time whereas digital signal will take only two levels either 1 or 0 either 1 or 0 so this is a digital signal and this is analog signal so what can be the examples so let's see we are speaking so why signals so it's continuously changing continuously like why signal changing like this so this is a analog signal while the signals used in computer like clocks see this is a clock so this is a digital signal or also we can see see example see we have a watch analog watch and we have a digital watch like in mobiles so analog wristwatch what we have the second ki sui hai wo continuously chalti rehti hai har instant pe wo time bata sakti hai har instant pe so this is continuous continuous while digital clock now let let's see time is 12:20 then after 1 minute it will 20 12 21 it will not so 12 20.5 like this so guys it's digital signal and it is analog signal so hope you will understand you understand the difference between analog and digital signals so now we will see what is a circuit electronic circuit so any circuit which contains at least one electronic device one electronic device comes under electronic circuit so electronic devices mein kya ho sakta hai we have diodes we have rectifiers oscillators amplifiers etc so then we will say that it is a electronic circuit so 
how electronic circuit looks like so i am drawing basic block of electronic circuit so let's say it's a black box any of the element diode rectifiers or something so this is a electronic circuit see so basically electronic circuit have two inputs two inputs one is dc power supply and what is one is input signal to be amplified or rectify and we have one output see guys so the input power will be always greater than the output power but the output amplitude can be greater than input signal amplitude but the power will be always less than input power so efficiency is not 100% efficiency is less than 100% so we will see the, this efficiency in power amplifiers so for now let's uh, see mm, done huh. so let's start diodes now So friend, friends, आपको एनालॉग कैसे पढ़ना है मैं बता रहा हूँ मीन्स आप एक पेन और पेपर ले लो और साथ साथ नोट्स बनाते जाओ वो खुद की हैंड राइटिंग में लिखा हुआ नोट्स हमें ज़्यादा याद रहता है और आप बोलोगे तो मैं आपको नोट्स शेयर कर दूँगा लेकिन आप खुद से बनाओगे तो ज़्यादा अच्छा होगा सो so बस नोट्स बनाओ और बुक मैंने इंट्रो लेक्चर में बता दिया था अगर आपको पढ़ना है तो बुक पढ़ सकते हो और प्रीवियस ईयर आई और गेट पेपर जरूर सॉल्व करें और मैं यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन करूँगा सो गेट और आई के ही मोस्टली करूँगा क्वेश्चन तो आप उसको देखें और जो बच जाएगा उसको आप खुद से सॉल्व कर लेना सो so, ऐसे आप प्रिपेयर करना तो आपके मार्क्स बढ़ जाएंगे सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट डायोड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ विल सी व्हाट इज अ डायोड What is a diode? So see, it's an electronic device. It's symbol like this. So this is P and this is N. So इसके details हम in the EDC में पढ़ेंगे तो यहाँ पर circuit की requirement के हिसाब से हम लोग diodes देख लेंगे. So in this we have P type P and N. So there are two modes. फॉरवर्ड बाइस्ड एंड रिवर्स बाइस्ड सो वेन वोल्टेज एट पी इज ग्रेटर देन एन देन वी हैव फॉरवर्ड बाइस मीन्स पी शुड बी पॉजिटिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एन देन वी हैव फॉरवर्ड बाइस एंड इफ P is negative with respect to N, then we have reverse bias. Then we can replace diode with a switch. See, if we have a ideal diode, then in case of forward bias, we can replace it by a short circuit. See, in ideal diode, in case of forward bias, and and in case of reverse bias, it will be a open switch. See. Or we can say that zero resistance or infinity resistance. Okay. So now we will study different circuits related to diodes like rectifiers, filters, and regulator circuits. So this is a famous interview question. They ask. to make a electronic adapter means you have input voltage like 220 volt ac and then ask you to convert that to 5 volt dc so how will you do that do that so we will study here 
so see we have a 220 volt and we want to convert into 5 volt DC so see we need a transformer because here it's 220 volt and here we need 5 volt so, so we need a step down transformer so first we will use a step down transformer so it's a transformer it's 220 volt so here there is n1 n2 terms so n1 by n2 will be 220 upon 5 so here suppose we have vi now we have to convert this ac because vi it's a ac of maximum 5 volt okay so now we have to convert this into dc volt dc voltage so we will use a diode so see diode is a unidirectional device so it will allow current in only one direction when forward by so it will allow current and in reverse by it will not allow current okay so this we have a diode see to so see this is called a rectifier so output of this will be like this it's a half wave rectifier so this then we will pass it through a filter circuit so filter output will be like this now we will pass it through a regulator circuit so basically in regulator circuit we have Duino diode circuits so after passing it through regulator circuit we have output like this constant output of 5 volt so we have converted AC AC input will be like this into a DC so we will study one by one rectifiers then filters then rectifier circuits so now let's study rectifiers so first of all what is rectifiers so we can define rectifier is a electronic circuit which converts AC into pulsating DC not pure DC pulsating DC like this so it can be categorized into rectifier can be classified into low voltage rectifiers And high voltage rectifiers so what is low voltage rectifiers so it provides low DC output voltage and low current while high voltage rectifier provides large DC currents so here in this subject we will only deal with low voltage rectifiers and this is the part of power electronics because SCR is used here so it's not our in syllabus power electronics so we will study here this only low voltage rectifier so this is for further classified into full wave rectifier and half wave rectifier half wave rectifier and full wave rectifiers and it's further classified into two center tabbed and bridge rectifiers so we'll study half wave rectifiers center tab rectifiers and then bridge rectifiers one by one 
so now let's start with half wave rectifiers So first of all we will withdraw half wave rectifier circuits. So आप भी साथ साथ अगर notes बना रहे हैं तो आप भी draw करते रहो आपके भी practice हो जाएगी. So it's a step step down transformer. Here we will use only one diode. And here is a low resistance RL. So this is the AC input and it is pulsating output will come here, pulsating output will come here and it's a diode. So now let's make waveform. So now suppose here VI is the signal. So after step down transformer VI we will use VI. So VI will be looks like this. It is a pure AC but with a lower amplitude. So suppose it's VM and minus VM. So see what will be output of V naught. You can draw here like this. See, in positive half cycle, P is positive with respect to N. So we can replace the diode as short circuit switch. So it will conduct. So VI is equal to V naught in positive half cycle. So it will be like this. And in reverse, in negative half cycle, it is positive and it is negative. So it will be a open circuit like this. In reverse, by it will be behave like a open circuit. So VI V naught is equal to sorry V naught is equal to VI and V naught is equal to zero. So it will be like this. Then positive half cycle. Positive, same as VI, then zero, same as VI, then zero. So it is V naught. VM, VI. So now we will calculate various currents and RMS currents and DC output currents, etc. We'll calculate one by one. So now let's see. So, analysis of half wave rectifier. So, first we will see instantaneous output current. see guys for alpha 0 to pi it is conducting so diode is in forward bias so let's say diode has a resistance of RF diode resistance and so we can write KVL in this instant in this interval 0 to pi. So what is our circuit? We can make our circuit here. here. This is VI. This is RL. And suppose RF is the resistance of diode. So if we apply KVL here in this loop suppose i is the current 
so then we have minus vi plus i into rf plus i into rl is equal to 0 or i is equal to vi upon rf plus rl so vi we can write it's a pure ac so vi we can write vm sin alpha upon rf plus rl Hmm. Now, this Vm divided by Rf plus Rl can be replaced with Im and this is sin alpha. So, Im is Vm upon Rf plus Rl. Im, we can say it is a peak output current. And in the second interval, alpha if alpha is pi to 2 pi then diode will be open circuit so i is 0 so we can write i is equal to i m sin alpha alpha 0 to pi and equal to 0 alpha pi to 2 pi so now we will calculate dc output current So by definition, IDC is equal to area upon time period or average value of I. So we will calculate area divided by time period. So since it is a continuous signal, so we have to integrate so 1 by t which time period and for area we have to integrate from 0 to t i dt or we can change into angle form alpha so t will be replaced by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi and i is the instantaneous current so we have calculated i m sin alpha and d alpha so now we will integrate so it will be i m by 2 pi 0 to pi sin alpha plus pi to 2 pi it's 0 so it will come i m by 2 pi minus cos alpha 0 to pi and it will be i m by 2 pi 1 plus 1 so it will come like i m upon pi so what is i d c say i d c is equal to i m upon pi so so we are calculating for sine waves for a square and triangular, triangular wave you should calculate yourself so now we will find RMS output current so what is the definition of RMS current so I RMS is equal to square root of 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi i square d alpha so just we will put all the values of i square so 1 by 2 pi 0 to pi i m square sin square alpha d alpha and for pi to 2 pi it's 0 so we have i m upon root 2 pi square root of sorry 0 to pi 1 minus cos 2 alpha upon 2 d alpha so if we calculate we will go get im upon 2 
so i rms for half wave rectifier will be i m by 2 so it's a standard result for sinusoidal input for square wave and triangular wave you should calculate yourself and at the last i will give a table for the all the values so just remember because you will take time every time you will calculate so it will take time so just remember so now we have rms value of ac current so rms value of component so the output of rectifier is a combination of dc and ac component so we have i is equal to dc component plus ac component where i is equal to i dc plus let's suppose ac component is i dash so now we will calculate i dash so i dash is equal to i, I minus i is so rms component of i dash will be i dash rms is equal to rms value of i dash so by definition we have square root 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi i i dash square alpha d alpha so squaring both side i dash rms square is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root 2 pi put i dash is equal to i minus i dc square d alpha now 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi just open this this bracket so we will get i square plus i dc square minus 2 i into i dc d alpha just distribute the integration so 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi i square d alpha plus i dc square into 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi d alpha minus 2 i dc into 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi i into d alpha see guys by the standard definition this is I RMS I square RMS and this is I square DC and this is I DC so now we have I dash RMS square is equal to i square rms plus i dc square minus 2 i dc square so it will be i square rms minus i square dc so i rms i dash rms is equal to i square rms minus i square dc so this is RMS value of AC current. It also called reading of AC emitter. IDC is the reading of DC emitter. So suppose we have I is equal to pi plus n sin mega t. So this is a DC 
C component and this is a AC component. So what will be IDC? IDC will be 5 and what will be the I dash RMS? It will be VM IM by root 2. So 10 upon root 2 it will be 5 root 2. So if you have to find IRMS so IRMS we can use our result RMS is equal to IDC square plus I dash RMS square so 25 plus 50 is equal to root 75 it is 5 root 3 so question is find I RMS now we will study ripple factor so what is ripple factor so the unwanted AC would present known as ripple factor so mathematically we can say that R is RMS value of AC component upon DC component so we will calculate so what is RMS value of AC component it is I dash RMS and this is I so what is you can also write V dash RMS divided by VDC so since, since it is unwanted so it should be 0 or very small value ideally it should be 0 or should be very smaller so let's calculate now so R will be I dash RMS divided by IDC so what is I dash RMS? I dash RMS is I square RMS minus IDC square upon IDC or we can write I RMS upon IDC ka whole square minus 1 so we will put I RMS and IDC for half wave rectifier what we have calculated I RMS is equal to I M by 2 and IDC is I M by 5 so I M so it will come 1.21 so please remember because in some exams they will directly ask you what is the ripple factor of half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier so just remember 1.21 so now let's calculate we will calculate input power So what is input power? So by definition, Vi is average value of Vi into I. So what is the definition of average value? It will be 1 upon 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi, Vi into I d alpha. So now we will put value. 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi so what is vi so vi is i into rf plus rl by applying kvl in the secondary circuit we can write vi is i into rf plus rl into i d alpha so it will be 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi RF plus RL to I square D alpha. So we can write like this RF plus RF RF plus RL by 2 pi and 0 to 2 pi I square D alpha. So 
what is this this is rms value square of rms value so it will come like this ra plus r into 2 pi into i square rms so 2 pi will so 2 pi will also like this so uh, pi is equal to i square rms into rf plus rl so this so when we have to calculate average energy or average power we will use rms value not dc value remember this so now we will calculate efficiency So what is efficiency? So it's the measure of the ability of rectifier to convert input power into DC power. So mathematically we can write efficiency is equal to eta is equal to DC output power divided by input power. So or in percentage we can write PDC upon PI into 100%. So we have calculated PDC is equal to ID square into RL, it's the output power, and PI we have calculated I square RMS into RF plus RL into 100%. So we'll get IDC we have. I am upon pi so I T C square into R L and I R M S is I M by two ka whole square into R L upon plus R L to hundred percent. So I M will be cut down. So if we calculate, we will get four hundred upon pi square into rl upon r plus rl percentage or 40.5 into rl divided by r plus rl so it is the efficiency so if diode is ideal we have rf is equal to 0 then rl rl will cut so eta maximum is equal to 40.5 so guys that's it for today so we will continue from here in the next lecture so just revise and go through the previous year question you can do one or two question so thank you keep reading thank you